The Apex Court had held that Delhi Lieutenant Governor Anil Bajal does not have independent decision-making powers, and is bound to act on the aid and advice of the Council of Ministers Kiran Bedi. Puducherry Chief Minister V. Narayanasamy on Sunday took exception to LT Governor Kiran Bedi issuing warnings to government officials during her field visits and holding meetings with them to review implementation of various schemes. Addressing reporters here Narayana Sami said, of late Betty has been issuing warnings through social media to officers and intimidating them that stern action would be taken if they were found wanting in implementation of schemes like Swatch Bharat Abhiyan in the Union Territory, making it clear that he had no objection to the LT governor undertaking field visits, he said, Betty had no independent authority whatsoever as had been clearly stated by the Supreme Court in its recent verdict on the tussle between the AAP government and LT governor of New Delhi. The Apex Court had held that Delhi Lt. Gov. Anil Bajal does not have independent decision-making powers, and is bound to act on the aid and advice of the Council of Ministers. If the LT Governor had anything to say she must first convey her proposals to the Chief Minister or Concerned Ministers through the Chief Secretary or Concerned Secretaries of the Department, Narayana Sami, who has been at loggerheads with the LT Governor on various issues, said. The ministers would then look into her views and take action as the LT governor has no independent authority to hold meetings with the officers and issuing warnings to them. Officers should bring to the notice of the chief minister and concerned ministers any instructions they receive from the LT governor, he added. On developmental works in the Union Territory, the Chief Minister said 10 crore rupees have been provided by National Airport Authority of India under its Corporation Social Responsibility Scheme to build an indoor stadium in all four regions. The local fishing harbour would be developed into a world-class harbour at an outlay of 20 crore rupees funded by the centre. Betty, who assumed office in May 2016, has been asserting that, being the administrator of the UT, she had the powers over administrative matters. Catch up on all the latest crime, national, international and hacky news here. Also download the new midday Android and iOS apps to get latest updates. This story has been sourced from a third-party syndicated feed, agencies. Except for the change in headline, the story has been provided, as is as available, without any verification or editing from our side. Midday accepts no responsibility or liability for its dependability, trustworthiness, reliability and data of the text. Midday management slash mid-day.com reserves the sole right to alter, delete or remove, without notice, the content in its absolute discretion for any reason whatsoever.